Mark, do you understand why viewers question us and question you in general um, as to why we have you on and why we give you a platform for your ideas when we don't know who funds you? Well, if that applies to the IA, it's got to apply across the board. When Justin Welby appears on the Andrew Marr show at Sofa to opine sure. about welfare reform, I don't see people saying, who funds the church? Think we're yeah, talking about why, think tanks. You can't, you can't I think, cauterise think tanks. Right, well, let's and just say talk the about... IEA and the Taxpayers Alliance need to reveal this, but not the Church of England, Shelter, Oxfam, Greenpeace or anybody else. Well, shall we get you to, to answer for the IEA on these questions? Because yeah, these sure. are the questions that viewers have put. And I'm saying to you, do you understand why they want to know overwhelmingly, who funds you when you are given platforms on programmes like this? Overwhelmingly, I think the people who ask the questions, overwhelmingly, not exclusively, don't really care about transparency. Because How they do don't, because they don't pop up saying who funds you when it's say a left wing group on television. They are not consistent about their okay, questioning. You can find so, that on so, our website well, you straight you away. You left can't, wing. You can't. Sorry, Greenpeace don't really release all their right, donors. Well, hang on a second. Fan. But hang on a second. Well, why should the think tank be treated but differently to any other part of civil society? You're playing the victim here, Mark, um, and you're deflecting to other organisations, and you say you're not being Literally treated the same rule. not being treated fairly. And I'm asking you some basic questions yep. about why people want to know. And do you understand that? Because if you are being given a platform and you have got very particular ideas, mm -hmm. people want to know that these ideas are not ones that have been funded by vested interests before you've actually come to them yourself. Okay, that, would be, that would be, I think, reasonable if you could look through the IEA's back catalogue and say, this is a bit curious. One day they appear to be in favour of high taxes and the next day in low taxes. It may be more nuanced but, than that. So, so it is, if you could show, I defy anyone to look through the IEA's 63 years of research, more than 50 million words of research, and not detect a completely consistent classical liberal free market approach to everything. 